Hello everyone, it's Tail here and I'm playing Silent Hunter 3 as you can see and it's time to start our new career. Um, I did try and do this a few days ago but um, my Silent Hunter modded version was balked and it just crashed all the time when I tried to go to the bridge view in, in game so I've had to kind of reinstall it and um, redo the mods and I've got a new mod order which you'll see below. It's based off uh, one that somebody sent me ages ago. I can't remember who it was, so I apologise. But they sent me one which will hopefully allow me to use my deck gun, which I couldn't do before. But uh, anyway, um, let's start a new career. So I'm doing a Dust Boot style North Atlantic career. Um, when I put this into Silent Hunter 3 Commander, the random name it gave me was Carl Borghard. So that's what we're going with, Carl Borghard. New career, and we're going to start in January 1941. I'm going to be in the 7th flute, uh, seventh slash 13th flutilla, based out of Saint Nazaire or San Nazaire, or however the hell you pronounce it. So let's start. Okay, we've got a Type 7C boat. Our U boat number is U70, nice round number. Let's see, we've only got 500 renown, so I'm not sure what we'll be able to upgrade. We'll go for the double flat gun. Uh, torpedoes all look okay to me. Yeah, I'll do. Let's see. No engine upgrade. There is uh, a battery upgrade which we can't afford. And there's a hydrogen upgrade which we can afford, so we may as well get that. And emblem. Okay. Going with the old favourite. The Laughing Cow. There we go. So it's the 4th of January. Let's take a look at our roster here. Who do we have as officers? We've got Rolf Formanowski, Armin, oh god, Dest Vensk, I can't even pronounce that one, Joachim Ud, or Ude, and Werner Fresser. Okay, and we've got room for one more officer, so let's go for a cheap one. We could only take Heino Kading. Heino. Uh, and we've got some petty officers, so let's get some of those. Harrow Reckhoff. Hold Zinc. It will have Kaltz. You've already got one high no. This, this ship can't take two high no's. Although, we're going to have to take another high no because there's no other free officers. And sailors, we've got one more sailor. Let's see, who do we have? Any interesting names? Volkmar Vogler. He'll do. There we go. So, engine guy is Hans Hilbig. We've got a watchman, Kurt Rexe. Let's stick him up there. Helmsman, Eduard Wagner. Any relation? No idea. Torpedo Man Siegfried Barg <laughs> and Rudolf Lorenz. Siegfried Barg. I like it. Okay. Um, and that should be that for the crew. And I think we're ready to begin. Uh, grid area is AL36. That seems pretty Atlantic to me. News for December 40. You can read that at your leisure. Uh, realism, we're going with no external view. I'm also going to trial having no event camera just because, um, well, I mean, event camera, you get two things. You get the torpedo, which I don't mind when it shows you the torpedo view, uh, but you also get to see if a depth charge is about to explode next year, which I don't really want. So I'm going to uncheck that for now. No external view, everything else on. We've still got no stabilized view and no map contact update. And there we go. So, um, it's in the middle of the happy time. You can see we've got zero U-boats for 256,000 tons, which is pretty damn good. Um, but things will soon, as long as we survive, start to uh, become a little more difficult, I think. But uh, anyway, let's begin. All right. Welcome, everybody, aboard U-70. Here we are, a lovely Type 7C U-boat. You've got the sausages. You've got the meat. You've got the bananas. And we've got bread. We're ready to go. Let's investigate our boat. We do have the... Whoops, my camera's in the way. We do have the interior mod. FM new interior mod. 2.1D, I believe. So we've got a full... Well, almost full... Fully uh, explorable U-boat. Somebody sleeping in there. 
not even left port and everybody's sleeping. What a crew I have. Razor blades, nice. Here's a forward torpedo room. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at the rear of the boat. You'll all have seen this on my very first YouTube video where I did a tour of uh, the interior in the Mediterranean career I did. But here we are again. We now have added men didn't have the the men at that time but now we do we don't get to see the rear torpedo room though that is closed for Bowden. Um all right oranges let's have a look outside we're in the u-boat pen we get to leave from a proper u-boat pen this time with some weird gyrating men well I guess it's about time we got underway. Lost Gates Manor. That must be our escort. Now, of course, I won't be able to give you any lovely panoramic views of the exterior of the boat or my surroundings because we have no external views. This is hardcore. We're just like real U-boat men, stuck inside a tin can. This is San Nazaire, or Saint Nazaire. It's uh, all frosty and, and snowy because it is the 2nd of January, a new year. This is uh, 20 past 9, not too early in the morning for a... Uh, for a... Uh, um, departure and everybody's honking their horns I think our leaving party is somewhere over there so obviously you don't have a leaving party when you're leaving the U-boat pen but they're still out there all right let's take a look better start testing a course do I have a mine layout can't remember if I get the mine layout probably don't do I oh well right, let's follow this guy on his merry way now where are we going again AL 36 where is that oh nice this is exactly what I wanted AL 36 right off Rockle Bank classic u-boat hunting area Excellent. Let's get my crew sorted out. I don't want anybody in the torpedo rooms. Uh, you can go in there, and the rest of you go in the electric engine room. Good. Now, I did have a bit of trouble. Why don't I have the uh, the green efficiency lines? That's a bit odd. Oh well. Um, I had a bit of trouble between the intro and getting down to here because I forgot I had to add some of my mods not in the right place. So we do have some new names here. We've got Josef Bernicke, Wilhelm Schiffer, Otto Fickinger. <laughs> what? Really? Fickinger. Otto Fickinger. Does that mean what I think it means? Uh, Kurt Roosdeutscher. What the hell is that? Red Deutscher? Red German? That's interesting. Um, and August Carlson. And then we've got our little offices here. We do have a Heino somewhere. Where is he? Yeah, he is. Heino Albrecht. He's our sole Heino, I think. To check for any other Heinos that may be lurking anywhere. No other Heinos. Good. One Heino is enough. And that's all about. I have to. Everything I have to say, I think, right now. Let's speed things up a tad. Get moving. I think we'll have to go to one quarter impulse. Keep up with our. Actually, I think what I might do is remove this dude. Because otherwise, we'll just keep getting ship gazicked warnings. 
Oh, in fact, we still are. Never mind. Now, I will be quite rusty with this game. I haven't really played it properly for quite a long time. So, don't surprise if there are any howling errors when I hopefully find some contacts. I will do my best. Alright, so now I need to head out across the Bay of Biscay and all the way up to AL36. There, there we go. That's quite close to Ireland though, so I might want to head this way a little bit. Do like something like that, maybe. Alright, we're on our way, gents. We are on our way. Let's get our watch dude back up there. You can go in there for now. Cool. Alright, well, I will cut here as we mosey along. And I'll probably come back when I do a bit of dive testing a bit further out into the Bay of Biscay. Okay, so it's almost two o'clock on the second day of our voyage. We've just managed to leave the European continental shelf behind. We're into the deep sea, so it's time for a little dive test. What's that? Up there in the sky. Alarm. What? Where's my sound effect? Oh, here we go. No, oh, I should have had an alarm sound effect. I think there's something wrong with my sound effects for the crew. They're not uh, calling out their orders. Maybe I've got something wrong with the options somewhere, but I'll have to look at that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a crash dive now. See 12 meters already, that's pretty good. And we're already pretty much under. That's a good thing about these Type 7s. Well, we're only at 30 meters. Shouldn't be creaking like that yet. Uh, but yeah, very good uh, crash dive time. Yeah, definitely something wrong with my voices here because they're not calling out the depth either. Okay, well that's another thing to investigate. Now, do we go down to 60? Or is it 80? I can't quite remember. Maybe 70. I think it's going to stop at 70. Well, that's good, but we want to go a little deeper than that. Let's keep on going. How deep is your sub? How deep? How deep is your sub? I really need to know. Hey buddy, nice moustache. Do we have a Stripey Johan on board? No. Normally there's a Stripey dude. Maybe it's because I've got officers here. Let's stick uh, this guy in on the sonar. Are you a Stripey gentleman? No. Oh well. Hmm. I'm not sure my mods are 100% working at the moment um, so difficult to get them sorted out in, in the correct order okay we're getting down to almost 120 meters now let's go a little deeper boy I can't wait to eat these sausages it's the best thing about going on the U-boat trip. Endless supplies of sausages. Almost endless. There must be very salty sausages and meat to survive in this humid atmosphere. 
for a month or so. Okay, we're down to about 140 meters now. Let's try 160. How low can we go? sure we are okay in terms of depth yep we've got over a thousand meters so that's all fine okay I think we're gonna start getting the more urgent creaking sounds now critical depth I understand 160 meters all right let's head into the red I don't like about the kind of free movement camera is you don't get the rolling of the the boat so as you can kind of see it if the the sausages start jingling jangling but in this view you do get the kind of movement okay almost at 180 Try 190. We're diving too deep, you think? No damage yet. This might be as far as I go, I don't really want to damage the boat. But this is pretty deep already, so uh, okay. Surface that will do for now. At least we know how um, deep we can safely go. We shouldn't need to go much lower than that. Excellent. I'm proud of you all done a great job today well done good job man excellent work I don't know what you do but good job doing it we're underwater you can't hear anything on the radio moron Everybody okay in here? Yeah, have a kip, don't worry, we're just uh, having a deep dive test. Hey baby. Alright, that was okay. I'm pleased. Right then, um, let's speed things up a little bit. And we're about to surface. I guess we'll go back to standard. One third, I think this is, so this is two thirds, one third. And we should be okay to go onto the bridge again. Yep, here we are. Excellent. Okay, well, now I just need to get to our patrol area. So um, once more, I will cut here and. Um, come back if we meet anything interesting along the way okay quick update for you it's now January the 4th 3 o'clock uh, we've encountered some crappy weather we're currently at periscope depth and what I'm going to show you now is um, I've oh, hold on, let me try the scope yes here we go I've decided to try out the um, Dust Boot Water mod, which gives the water a green colour when you're beneath the waves. Not too sure about it. Let me know what you think. Whether you'd like me to keep it or not. It seems a bit strange going from a, a grey or blue sea to murky green, but then that's how the film was, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, a pretty crappy 
waves right now. So I'm giving my crew a rest. Um, another thing was I couldn't get the the interior mod used to have the dust boots blue lighting available as an option, but the latest version doesn't seem, doesn't seem to have that. So we just get standard red lighting. I want the blue lighting, god damn it! But um, I can't seem to get it. If anyone knows a way how to get that back, let me know. Um, and that's all I have to say right now. So still heading on to our destination. Let's surface the boat. Just running out of oxygen. Speed it up a little bit. Let's take a look outside if we can. There we go. We're in the middle of a storm. Heavy clouds, zero visibility, 15 meters per second wind. Global, global. Okay, so uh, that's my update. I'll come back when something else happens. We're green!